all right everybody welcome back we are getting a little bit of a late start this morning but that's okay had several things to get done this morning i'm trying to get all packed up next week is the last bassmaster open of the season so i'm don't have to but i'm going down there next week to the harris chain in florida to fish that last Bassmaster Open of the year and hopefully we can win that tournament and get into Bassmaster Classic but we're here to catch crappie today so we'll worry about next week next week we're gonna try something different today these are called made by crappie magnet they're called Popeye jigs and if you follow the channel you know I'm not a real big hair jig guy I just prefer plastic I feel like it feels a little bit more natural to the fish and I honestly feel like it looks a little more natural to the fish, but these right here are something that uh, I've heard a lot of good things about these. They make them in several different sizes. I've got some that are 164th and I've got some that are 132nd. So I want to try these out today and put them to the test and see if we can get these crappie to bite them. So let's get rigged up. I'm going to show you how I rig it and then let's see if we can catch a few. Y'all stay tuned. All right, so let's look at our rig here before we start fishing. I've got... The Popeye jig, it's the 164th ounce, blue and white. That's what we're gonna start out with. Um, I've got a size five split shot about 14 inches up the line. I'm running four pound, vicious 100% fluorocarbon leader. And I've got five pound vicious braid on here. 2,500 size reel, six foot six light mustad detector rod. So that's what we're gonna start with. And we may try some different things with this um, Popeye jig. I'm already thinking you could probably kind of put a trout magnet on there with it, uh, just sort of as a trailer. So I'm already thinking about doing that. I may try putting some slab bites on it, but let's just try it just the way it is first and just see if they'll bite it. We've got a brush pile out here about 30 feet in front of us. There's a fish right there. Well, check that out, would you? First fish on the Popeye jig for me. About a nine inch crappie. And they were reacting to that thing pretty good too. Well, that's cool. I like that. Let's get back in there and see if we can get another one of them. I'd like to have them a little bigger, but if they like it, I like it. There's one. Black nose. These seem to be running pretty small, but they're definitely biting that little jig. That's encouraging. Another one about that same size, about nine inches or so. All right, so I've had several fish, probably three in a row. They'll run up to that little Popeye jig and they just bump it. And they're not wanting to eat it. So I'm gonna put a slab bite on there and I'm gonna see if, uh, see if that makes a difference. I, I really believe it will. They're not wanting to hold on to it real good. Let's put that little slab bite on there just to give it a little bit more scent. And let's see if that makes a difference. I bet it will. There's one. That one feels a little better. No, he's just mean. Definitely a bunch of them down there. Just not real big ones. Not them slabs we're looking for. We're getting some bites on the little Popeye jig though. That's pretty cool. There's one. Definitely eat that little jig. I'll tell you, that thing's got a good hook in it too. That's a white crappie. It's not a real big hook. It's probably a size six or a size eight, but it's a good sharp little hook. Definitely hold a big crappie if I can find some. I'm getting plenty of bites right now, just not on them big slabs right now, but we'll find them. There's one. That one looked like a good one. 
about as good a one as there is in that school on active target so he's not any bigger than that we're fixing to move spots little bitty guys we definitely got a bait they'll bite they just smile Go find some bigger ones. All right, guys, I'm having a lot of fish. Just come up and nip at this little bait and uh, not get it. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to give them, and this is one of the reasons why I prefer plastic over hair. When a fish sucks in a bait, if it feels unnatural to him, he'll spit it right back out. I mean, that's just the honest to goodness truth of the matter. I liken it to, uh, I always, you know, I, obviously I always refer everything back to the bass fishing side. When you're throwing a buzz bait, if you throw a buzz bait for bass and you just put a skirt on it with no piece of plastic, you'll get a lot of blow ups and misses. If you'll take that skirt off and you'll thread a big toad, like a horny toad or something like that up on there, a lot of those fish will go ahead and suck that bait in. So I know that, you know, feel, when a fish sucks a bait in his mouth, feel is a big, big deal to him. It's got to feel natural. Um, I don't know if a fish can taste or not, but I know they can smell. It's got to kind of smell natural. So what I'm getting at is I want to put a little bit of a trailer on this little Popeye jig right here and give those fish just a little bit of substance to be able to feel something whenever they suck that bait in. So what I did, I just took that Popeye jig and I attached a trout magnet to the back of it because those fish were just coming up nipping at the bait and not eating it. So all we did was just gave it a little piece of plastic, a little something for them to grab a holt and hold on to. Let's see if that makes a difference. I don't know, I've never tried this. So we're gonna find out together, but I'm almost gonna bet you that it's gonna make a difference. There's one. Nice one too. That's gonna be a good crappie there. Yes, sir. Best one of the day so far. Not a great big one, but that little adjustment. We talked about little adjustments in the last video, but let's put that little trout magnet on there just to give them a little something to grab a hold to whenever they grab that little jig. Pretty little crappie. About a 10 and a half, 11 inch first keeper of the day. Hadn't been here long, just been looking around and checked a couple places that had some small fish on them. There's one. That's a crappie, it's a good one. I don't know what this is fighting funny he was almost fighting like a bass to be honest with you guys black nose now they're actually holding on to it i'm telling you there's something to that and i know some people are probably gonna think i'm crazy there's 11 and a half 12 inch crappie nice one some people are probably gonna think i'm crazy but i'm telling you a fish has got a very strong sense of like when they grab something if, if it doesn't feel natural to them they'll let it go right away like i know you know with bass fishing if a bass grabs a hold of a crankbait or say a lipless crankbait something like that they're not going to just sit there and hold that thing for forever but if 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 you ever tried throwing like a, a wacky worm or a light texas rig or something with no hook like when i'm practicing for tournaments a lot of times i'll take my hooks off during practice because i don't actually want to stick those fish and a bass will swim with a plastic worm sometimes for you you wouldn't believe people wouldn't believe how long i've had them swim for 50 or 60 yards with a plastic worm before they'll let they'll let it go but that is not the case with a hard plastic bait so sometimes just putting a little bit of of uh of plastic and adding that on to you know something with hair on it make it feel a little bit more natural those fish can make all the difference in the world There's one. Looks like a decent crappie. Yep. Another pretty black nose. A little 
Popeye jig again. Popeye, I'll get it done. Like I said, I'm not a real, real big hair jig guy. Just never, never really have been. I know a lot of you guys are, and that's the thing about fishing. I always tell everybody, use what works for you because just what works for me may not work for you, and what works for you may not work for me. So, you know, but I do, I, I always like trying new things and trying to build confidence in new things and talking to the guys at crappie magnet there are a lot of those guys that swear by that little popeye jig so I, I had to give it a try and it's a good little bait there he is another good crappie this wind is blowing pretty good out here today so i'm kind of set up above these fish and cast it back to them so I can keep my line tight and I can feel everything that's going on. Another good one. We're good, perfect eating size crappie. Not real fat, about 11 and a half, 12 inches. Just good fish, good solid fish. There's one. Pretty good one. All of them down there are clones, man. They're good. It's good size crappie. No great big ones yet. It's made a big difference since I put that little trout magnet on the back of that jig, though. They're definitely eating that bait a whole lot better. There's one. That's a crappie. Real big one, but another white crappie. Probably a keeper size white. White crappie are built different than blacks. Blacks are more short and stubby. White's got a longer nose. He's not real big, but he's a pretty fella. Get him back in there and see if we can get his mama. Found me a new brush pile right here. It's in about 15 foot of water, which is about the right depth. All right, guys. I think we're gonna wrap it up with that one right there. You know, trying out a new bait. I like the bait, the little Popeye jig. Uh, just another thing to kind of add into your arsenal. You know, every situation's different. Uh, every body of water's different. Will it catch fish? Absolutely. Is it gonna replace my trout magnet, my crappie magnet, my Bobby Garland? No, I don't think so. Um, I'm a plastic guy. I always have been and I, today, what I saw just proves my theory that in my opinion, Plastic catches more fish than hair does. It's just my opinion. It may not be the same where you are, but it is where I'm at. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts. I'd, I'd love to hear, because I'm sure there's somebody out there that disagrees with me, and I'm sure there's some situation where a hair jig works better than a plastic jig does. Um, I've just not run up on that situation yet, but my crappie fishing experiences are limited to here in Middle Tennessee and North Alabama mostly. So. Um, love to hear you guys' thoughts. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you next time right here. Brandon Lester Fishing.